Oh, hi there. Uh, I just finished watching two YouTube videos, uh, one by Paul Joseph Watson and one by Chris Chappell on China Uncensored. Um, Chris Chappell has been going on about um, uh, the Orwellian kind of system that China is trying to put in place. Uh, within their country, uh, how they have a secret file on everyone, and they're, you know, giving them a point score or whatever. And uh, Paul Joseph Watson at Infowars, um, a channel that's, you know, sometimes it's not bad. Um, he's talking about uh, the truth of incels. Uh, I had heard the term before somewhere. I I forget where. Like. Um, Basically, it means, you know, men that are unable to uh, get a girlfriend or basically any action with, with women. Um, it is well known that I've uh, not been with any women. Um, I've not had any physical contact with women uh, in a very long time. I've only ever made out with one chick once. Uh, that was an Asian chick, and she was basically sucking my entire face off. But anyway, um, Paul Joseph Watson is uh, going on about how they're bitter, um, that they create these internet uh, echo chambers of bitterness, and they're self-critical, and obviously they're unhinged and they got all sorts of problems and blah 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 and you know I'm fully aware that this is an awkward video for me to make like uh, I would consider myself not an incel uh, other people can hurl that insult at me but that doesn't apply and uh, you know for different people it can be for different reasons I mean perhaps uh, a person is an incel because uh, I don't know uh, they're a big ugly creep uh, or, you know, any reason. I mean, me, like, look, um, it, the problem is that the world is filled with idiots. And there definitely is a culture shift of wh who's really wielding the power and, uh, you know, what is considered socially acceptable. And when I say socially acceptable, I don't mean, like, that if you contradict them, you're wrong. But a society as a whole has deemed certain things as socially acceptable and other things, although right for somebody else, as not socially acceptable. In my opinion, a wee tiny little bit of racism is perfectly fine and it's normal. Uh, you have to have self-interest in your own people. I don't blame any culture on earth for thinking that way. And, you know, I made myself known that, like, look, I, I collect uh, Nazi antique militaria. Uh, I'm only into medals and badges, uh, maybe buckles at some point, and helmets and uniforms. That's really about all I'm going for. Um, obviously, you know, I saw a $25,000 um, World War II American Jeep. That would be awesome to have. Obviously, I don't have $25,000, so I'm not buying it. Uh, but, yeah, that's what I go for. But, anyway, there's, like, a lot of people, they think it's in, you know, uh, bad taste. They don't, uh, it, it's frowned upon because they don't understand uh, the, the hobby. And, uh, okay, uh, just like with anything, you know, there are suspicious characters within uh, the uh, antique military uh, um, collector's world. Um, okay, that's one sort of reason, especially in today's society in Canada. You know, if you have any anyone, you know, twists what you're doing or one of your hobbies into something bad, it's very easy for, you know, a negative cult of personality to form, which is what I have said in previous videos. And a negative cult of personality is where you're the main subject, but you're either outright insulted right to your face, or more often it's done behind your back. 
and people just they won't talk they get OCD you can't make them talk and usually they just walk away uh, because they're pricks and there's biological reasons for why they do that I mean these incels which I don't consider myself to be um, they are the way they are I mean different circumstances for different people I'm not gonna you know start talking about people I don't know but uh, me for myself when I see it it's removing men from uh, you know having a social life and there are two factors or three that uh, contribute the reasoning why people want to do that and these are these sanctimonious cunts and remember when I said cunts it, it just means people that are pissing me off really it, it doesn't necessarily mean the female sexual organ uh, uh, it's a different context but there are three reasons those three reasons being for regular uh, white men it's one less guy that they've got to deal with with competition when going for women uh, for women it's about power it's about you know them being able to say no and for all these hundreds of years where men have dominated society particularly white men um, they can turn around and just be like no we're in charge and we're going to punish uh, certain individuals for being men and by doing that they create a negative cult of personality as I said and you know for different people you know sometimes they'll get right up in their face they'll get insulted they get bullied by these sanctimonious people and like it's just they don't take the time to go is this right are we doing the right thing it's all about their own self-interest and the third group of people is uh, especially uh, as I told you I'm a World War II military collector um, I have no sympathy for the Nazi party but I like their stuff okay uh, I like the medals I like the badges I like the helmets they look cool it's part of history it is what it is but the third group of people and there's a growing uh, number of them in positions of power and they're colored people I'm sorry but it's the truth uh, and they just look at things and go oh well you know uh, like uh, Paul Joseph Watson just made a video talking about uh, I've already forgotten that uh, hip-hop song that came out and uh, you know the blacks feeling like they've been oppressed and they like feeling like they've been oppressed and even though they are not really being oppressed at the moment uh, they still want to have that mentality and how absurd that is because the thing is if you have the you're being suppressed mentality then it encourages uh, said individuals to um, go on the offensive because they feel like they've been persecuted and obviously that is wrong uh, I mean people for lousy reasons shouldn't be um, you know excluded from society um, and you know all of this is bore out of ignorance like I don't expect people to you know know a lot about a lot of things but um, you know, uh, social media plays a big factor in um, people and um, their inability to uh, score women, unfortunately. Um, and you want to know something? There are some people who call Paul Joseph Watson, uh, probably a lesser extent than uh, with Chris Chapel, and even PewDiePie in cells. Because, um, you know, sometimes guys get put in this position there's nothing wrong with them and they're intelligent people not bad looking but a cult of personality forms around them as evident with those people and it can result in um, it just you know it, it can result in uh, people who are far worse that are hovering about and how people can be worse is when they decide they want to do the talking for you. When they go, 
um, I'm going to tell this guy's story and I'm going to explain it in such a way where you can't engage in conversation with said person to, you know, get each side of the story. Because obviously, if a person wants to speak uh, for you, and whether it's positive or negative, it is their slant on, on you. And a lot of people like doing that. And unfortunately, it is very easy to be persuasive, uh, especially if you want to be negative about someone. Um, and it's particularly easy in this day and age with, um, uh, obviously, the internet and all kinds of things like that. But, uh, like, you can get all kinds of insults and things hurled at you. And enough people saying them over and over, and it all of a sudden becomes true when it's not. Um, like, let's think of an example. Uh, off the top of my head, I'll think of an example. Okay. Um, okay. Say there's a woman who's scorned with you, and she may be so because you rejected her. She may tell a story where um, she says you got general awards, you got herpes, AIDS, anything. And there will be people who believe it. And then all of a sudden it becomes the truth, and it's not. And you know, those people are worse than um, the incel crowd, which I adamantly deny uh, being part of. Um, like, it's, it's all a sick, twisted game with these people. It reminds me so much of Beavis and Butthead do America, where the FBI agent, you know, he throws the the innocent, uh, um, you know, I forget his name, but uh, the character ended up morphing into Hank Hill in uh, King of the Hill. Uh, he was the, the old man, and, you know, the FBI guy uh, put it all on him and said, you were using Beavis and Butthead as pawns in your sick, twisted game. And really, you know, I think the FBI guy, you know, obviously being of higher rank, was, it was probably him. Uh, it just didn't get mentioned in the movie. Because, um, you know, like, I, I've, I, uh, Mr. Anderson was his name. Uh, that's right. Um, I don't know. Like, he was a veteran of two wars, so who, who knows? There's probably, you know, a whole series talking about that that Mike Judge created and it's not available to the public. Cause, you know, that's one thing about um, you know, television and the people that make a lot of money out of it and, and how things are done on, on the television is that they can make versions of things and keep it for themselves so that they know it but the general public doesn't know it. You could be the biggest Lord of the Rings fan, but, you know, you could never learn everything about Lord of the Rings because information is restricted. It's never pointed out as being that, especially on the internet. Everyone goes, oh, this is the age of information, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there's a lot of information on the internet, okay? But there are certain things that are not on the internet. And uh, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet as well. And, uh, you know, getting back to Chris Chappell and his video about the Orwellian system, I have made videos where I go, look, it's kind of a real thing, you know. Um, well, you're born, so birth certificate, your full name on there. Um, they want to get your fingerprints as soon as possible. Uh, in fact, I have a friend who um, they, as, you know, elementary school students, were taken to a police station uh, and and we're doing the fingerprint thing and obviously at that age they had no clue but uh, it was a small town he came from and uh, you know like okay that sounds a bit Orwellian so you're you're taking data off of uh, you know innocent and unknowing uh, individuals and then of course you got your social insurance number you got your bank account you have to go through the bank if you want to own anything you have to go through the bank if you want to um, 
get a job, buy a car, anything, you have to go through a bank. Um, and, you know, like, without um, the bank, you would essentially be um, off the grid, which is actually illegal. Um, so, you know, right then and there, they got a lot of your information because the bank puts all this stuff on the information. The bank's really just an arm of, or a branch or whatever you want to consider. It gets more of an arm of the government anyway. So I, I consider bank employees to be bureaucrats. Maybe technically they're not, but I would consider them to be that. And they're also pieces of trash, if you want my opinion. Uh, the fish rots from the head down. Uh, yeah, all right. Um, I realize this is a very, very uh, difficult video to make, and I've done it in typical Iron Drag fashion. I've had a glass of two or wine. Didn't write down a script or anything, I'm just saying this off the top of my head. Uh, oh, which, by the way, I'm getting a haircut in the next couple days, so, you know, if you got hair jokes, you can hold on to them for now. Uh, yeah, okay. But it's the problem is there are too many people out there that are gullible and genuinely want to believe things because subconsciously uh, it benefits them, such as what I said before. If a certain if certain men are taken out of the picture as far as being in the dating world, then it's an advantage for different parties. So they're more willing to cooperate. And I know there are other men that are, you know, not unsimilar to myself, who don't come out and say that because they don't want it happening to them. You know, that's good reason. You know, white man, um, you know, is us low-ranking white guys aren't really, you know, in any position of, uh, of power anymore. Uh, other people's rights become uh, come before ours. And, um, you know, I don't think that's fair. Like, um, Trudeau and his propaganda, equality, diversity, blah, 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 blah. Pretty words. But the reality is, Trudeau is a fucking asshole. And he would shit on anybody uh, so that he wouldn't even be slightly inconvenienced. Um, like, he may come off as a nice, friendly guy. And if you play by his rules, I'm sure he is. But if you really want to express yourself and go, this is who I am as a person, um, then, you know, <laughs> you're going to go to hell, <laughs> essentially. Uh, like with me, I would be out and about a bit more often. Um, you know, as you can see in this video, my face is quite pale. I don't see the sun very much. Uh, you know, I spend a lot of my time at home, unfortunately. Uh, cause, and if you've followed my channel, you know that's because I have a mental health history, and uh, I was given medication that intentionally made my me, me, made me sick, so that uh, it would discourage me from drinking alcohol. Um, I have told him, like, look, I understand what you were trying to do and the good reasons why you were doing it, but you're also a bunch of assholes. And I could tell you how to improve uh, what you did so that it actually is effective. Because right now, uh, you know, I'm not a problem alcoholic. I'm not loud. I'm not uh, dis disruptive. I'm not a troublemaker, for the most part. Um, I'm mostly docile, and that's actually probably got a lot to do with the medication they're pumping me for all those years. But uh, we'll leave that at that. Uh, but. It hasn't curbed my uh, addiction for alcohol. In fact, it's made it worse because, oh, especially with white people, because we just we have it in our culture for hundreds of thousands of years, um, that a lot of people have a problem when they have one drink, they have another and another and another, and they can't stop themselves. Uh, I understand this problem, and I had it to an extent when I was younger, but now. Now when I drink, it's actually worse because of the treatment plan they had on it. It really feels like a physical addiction, like I have to have it. And that's 
they're probably totally intentional on their part. As a, they're, they're really twisted people, these, uh, these monsters that create these medications. And keep it in mind that they, you know, test them on animals first. And um, they, you know, they're, 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 you know, there isn't a word to describe what kind of trash they are. There just isn't. Anyway, I also drink now because fuck you. Fuck your program. I'm going to drink alcohol, and I'm going to be a responsible adult. So fuck you. Um, okay, so I got mental health people who have seen my videos, seen my fuck yous to them, and they're pissed with me. And obviously a bureaucracy would have the capability of, you know, ruining somebody's life if they want to do that. Um, you know and they tried they tried on me and you know what it didn't work I could always find something to be happy about even when my neck was extremely sore and I, there was just nothing they could do about it they tried to destroy me they would have loved it if I got fucking thrown into the fucking you know um, into the Broadmoor or a Riverview whatever the hell you want to call it and just locked away and forgotten about and they would turn around and start making up dirty lies and people would believe them oh uh, 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 an official uh, you know someone who works for the government has come along and pitched a story that isn't accurate and let's we'll just we'll just believe him because they've got a stern face and they have zero tolerance for behavior that they do not like um, and yada 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 and I go uh, there's one problem with that asshole I don't fucking believe you and there are people with brains out there that don't fucking believe you or, or your fucking stories and um, you know that pisses them off like because you're just undermining their authority right then and there people ought to know their rights uh, because that's the first thing they do is they want you to know nothing and you know the way I played it is uh, like I knew I wasn't in charge like uh, I whenever I was dealing with bureaucrats I knew I wasn't in charge so I just I played the uh, stupid uh, game and they went oh well let's set the bar so low and unfortunately they set it so low that it's fucking ridiculous their whole story is ludicrous and I can see them being mental and like I found out a lot about them because they didn't know I was watching them watch me and they go well how is that possible he was watching us watch him deductive reasoning that's a term you people ought to know deductive reasoning um, I have 80 hours worth of YouTube content out there uh, probably about 60,000 confirmed views confirmed to me anyway who knows how often it's been watched as I've made clear many a time the analytics are messed up on my channel they're not accurate at all uh, I'm a bit concerned about this video because it's been choppy a little bit at certain points which this camera hadn't done before so I don't know if that's a clue to me saying look we know what you're doing because um, you should really ought to mind your own business at, at this point. I mean, obviously, I guess if you're watching my video, then you're going to make it a point to make it your business, but uh, you're still a bunch of jack-offs. Um, and, you know, one of the things Chris Chappell did say, and this is very true, that uh, they can monitor everything you do on the Internet. And, um, you know, basically every new computer is Wi-Fi compatible. And you get all these idiots going, yeah, yeah, I got Wi-Fi. Oh, this is so convenient for me. I got a television with apps that don't work. I really do. I have a television, and they put apps on it, and they don't work. If the product that is attached to your television doesn't work, don't include it until you can make them work. Not that I want my TV to be Wi-Fi. Uh, because uh, all of this is to build a profile of people. 
and it's a bunch of bullshit. It's people that wouldn't tell you what type of apples they like. Uh, do, they like do they like Crips Pink? Do they like Spartan apples? What kind of apple do you like? They'd probably lie about that. And yet, they don't trust you right off the bat. And they ask you a hundred questions for every question you ask them. And you can ask them the simplest of questions, they're not going to answer. Uh, or they're going to lie, or it's just like, really? Really? Seriously? Anyway, so, you know, part of the problem with society is, is bureaucrats. Uh, you know, a lot of them are there for good intention, but um, they're indifferent and won't do anything about it when they say bureaucrats that are out of control. And, uh, you know, quite often they're out of control because this planet is out of control. And diversity is not a good thing in a lot of instances. Um, you know, I don't like to hear about, uh, you know, the business tycoons in British Columbia that have ties with the CCP. Get the fuck out of here. You don't have a place here. Like, if Asians, if the ones that are here want to, you know, adopt a more Western approach to things, fine by me, that's okay, I don't have a problem with that, but, um, you know, if the world starts shifting into this messed up program, and, you know, people uh, become less and less aware of it, um, they get the impression you can't stop change, and things like that, and it becomes their narrative. Um... Uh, I mean, exactly what the government's up to has always been a mystery to the to the public, and um, that's just how they maintain control. And the older you get, the wiser you get. Uh, for some people, anyway. Um, I shouldn't have made a YouTube channel to begin with, um, in retrospect, because it caused me a, a lot of trouble. And you know, like, it's all there. Anybody wants to watch it, go ahead. There isn't anything that, uh, you know, I wouldn't have said. I mean, I guess I could have rephrased things a little bit better, but, uh, you know, whatever. Not a big deal. Anyway, those things all contributed to this, uh, you know, no girlfriend situation I've got. And I haven't had one for a long time, and it may be a long time before I get one. But uh, I have... I no longer take psychiatric medicine. 17 months since I've taken it. And, you know, mentally, I've never felt better. My neck still hurts a lot, though. So that's, you know, that keeps me in the house uh, quite a bit. It's, it's, uh, it's an ordeal to leave the house physically for me because it's, it, my neck just hurts so much. And, uh, like, as I said, these medications are designed in a certain way and the abuse of power that they can have on the the authoritarian people who are foisting them onto people uh, is too great and there's just you know um, a lot of fucked up problems okay and um, I refuse to make it me bitter about it I mean, obviously, there are things that, you know, would be better in my life if I, if I um, went with the program, I suppose. Although, at this point, it would take a lot of convincing for them to actually believe that I've converted to the Justin Trudeau mentality. Uh, because I've, you know, talked quite a bit about basically how I don't agree with so much of what he does. And how he's a sanctimonious cunt who acts like he's Mr. Good Guy, but really he's Mr. Shithead. I mean, I'm rough around the edges, I'll admit that. Um, but, uh, you know, actually, uh, there are chicks that like me. And um, it's some sort of wall they've put around. And there are other w women that like me, too. But if I knew anything about them, 
I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Why are you even here? I don't like you and I'm never going to. Um, but there are some, some women that, uh, very few women that I know that I, I actually, I actually do genuinely like. And, um, yeah. I mean, this is, this is everybody's problem because it can, you know, uh, it could happen to anyone. Um, just this kind of um, herd mentality where uh, I've got to flip the mouse because my screen goes black every, uh, I guess, every 30 minutes or so, uh, just to save power. Uh, but yeah, it could really happen to anybody. Um, it, all it takes is a few, you know, butt hurt, easily offended people who use that. Uh, as reasoning to go on the offensive, but in an underhanded, sleazy kind of way. And, you know, predominantly in, you know, um, kind of Nazi ideology, it's typically a Jewish thing to do, is to, rather than engage the problem, uh, if, if there is one, is to go behind the back and get them from there and you know you're scum you're trash and you know people like that they're gonna be exposed because uh they're gonna get seen for what they are and you know i did say maybe i shouldn't have made this youtube channel but on the other hand i had to make this youtube channel because you know a lot of people think well I'm just, in, you know, I'm, I'm just typing on the computer and, you know, critiquing on forums and things like that, and and no one will know who I am. As I told you about, you know, the banking system um, and all the other ways, your IP address, uh, they know who you are. So, you know, typing things on a computer is not anonymity. Uh, whereas me, I went, fuck this. I'm making a YouTube channel where I'm going to talk about things, and I'm going to say things that, you know, other people don't say. Because they're either spineless, gutless, or they're just cognizant of how big of assholes people can be. And, um, you know, I think this channel has done, a, has done its job in displaying who I am as a person, how I'm not perfect. And, you know, I've had some hard times, but, uh, you know, I've also had a lot of great times. I make the best of every situation. And, uh, you know, I, I got to I gotta give thanks to certain people like Bear Brills, Les Stroud. Those guys are awesome. They are, uh, they, you know, they're so inspirational uh, for me, uh, you know, just to, the never give up mentality. And... Uh, I'm not going to, but um, I know I've been zeroed out, and uh, there is a combination of reasons, and one of them might be the uh, uh, lame claim to fame uh, segments I made. Uh, those, those that that was my dad in those pictures. That that's, that's an actual thing. Um, may have garnered the attention of people who are um, cold-blooded, vicious unkind, uh, non-remorseful, um, pieces of trash. And, uh, it's, you know, it's just funny that if someone so badly wants to ruin someone's life because they were, you know, inconvenienced or they were quickly bothered by something, or it's, you're just a contradiction to what they believe, and they can't, uh, they can't foil it. The best way you can thwart them is to live your life the best you can. That way, it's, it basically, it's, it's a buzz kill for them. Uh, it's just, they, uh, like, they're proven wrong. Uh, they can't stand that at all. They can't stand being proven wrong because then, they look like, uh, you know, intellectual inferiors, which is 
probably what they deserve, but yeah. Um, yeah, so much to talk about. This is such a you know wide subject, and it would be kind of nice to have people to talk to about it with, but I you know directly do not. Um, you know, my sore neck will go away, and you know what? I, I it'll be I, like. I've got a job waiting for me. I've got, um, you know, really strong work ethic, work ethic. I really want to get into working out, being out there, and you know, being a person. Uh, you know, and I think the mere thought of that, because there are assholes out there that are such assholes that the mere thought of me going out there and living, you know, a normal life, infuriates them because I have an ideological belief system that contradicts theirs. And I'm not going to say theirs are completely wrong, depending on what it is, although there are some people with uh, ideological beliefs that are total jokes, uh, and they're stupid for believing what they believe in, but, uh, you know, they can do what they want, you know, so long as other people aren't bothered by it. And, you know, I should be allowed to do, you know, uh, the things I want to do, like have a normal social life. And um, really, like, it's taken years and years and years uh, from me, uh, you know, not having a normal social life. And to me, this is just some sort of, I think it's a test, I think is what it is, and a very hard one at that. I don't think there are that many uh, so-called incels, um, but uh, I guess there has to be a number of them if they are, um, you know, uh, making YouTube videos about it and all those other sort of things. And no, I would not partake in any of their uh, conversations they have. Uh, like they sound like a bunch of creeps, and you know that's not the angle I want to pursue um, but you know I like I would notice things uh, particularly on vegan forums where it's like they're baiting you into uh, you know miscalculating or miss saying something so that they can use it against you because they, they speak in a very manipulative manner they can't help themselves uh, it makes them feel smarter uh, it makes their very tiny penis feel a little bit bigger um, and it's you know it's about power so like you know vegan pages if you haven't been on them are dominated there's no discussion on them they're just dominated uh, by vegan propaganda and the meat eaters on them are usually sick twisted fuckers like um, I don't, I'm not going to say some of the things I've heard them say or, you know, post on, uh, on the vegan Facebook pages, but, uh, you know, they say that because they have the ability to on the internet, but, you know, if they were in the real world, uh, yeah, you'd say that uh, to the wrong person and they would snap and, you know, uh, probably punch them in the face because it's just such a sleazy thing to say. Uh, I mean, not that I would, because, uh, yeah, those bureaucratic bastards would like any excuse to fucking come after me. Surprised, um, surprised that they, you know, they invest so much time and energy, <laughs> to be honest. Like, what do they expect to get? I mean, they'll never admit that, but, um, you know, we can play this game as long as you want. If you're not going to win. And, you know, yeah, those two videos uh, that I just talked about, you know, I was talking about different angles from each of them. And, you know, the China Uncensored video, I, um, I like Chris Chappell, 
very pleasant man talking about a very creepy subject. Um, and, uh, you know, Paul Joseph Watson. Uh, some of his videos aren't that good, but some of them are really good, though. And it's definitely worth watching. Hmm. But, um, yeah, it really is true. Uh, Futurama put it best, you know, uh, with the little nibbler uh, characters, how they were intellectually, and they were like, yeah, the planet's run by uh, psychotic apes. And you want to know something that is the truth. <laughs> Uh, like, oh, I have no idea, but it's like, dang, man, is this the, has the world really come to this? Is this really what it's all about? I don't know, but, uh, uh, I guess all I really have to say about that is, uh, they can fuck off, just fuck off. Anyway, I've been rambling on in this video. I, you know, I suppose I could have wrote it in a, a script for it and said it, you know, so that I made solid points. Uh, I know people don't have long attention spans, so 40 minutes to commit to watching, you know, a guy with, um, you know, greasy hair uh, talk about this sort of stuff is probably not what they want to be doing. But, um, you know. I'm fixing that hair problem. It's it's getting cut, okay? <laughs> my, my mom's boyfriend knows how to cut hair. That's what he does, so I'm going to even get it fixed. I know it looks ugly, and, you know, I'm not going to cut it off completely. I'm just going to lighten it a little bit because it looks too thick right now. I mean, thick hair is good in the sense that I'm never going to go bald, but um, it's got to be a little lighter is what it's got to be. And it's also very, very hot. I know complaining in Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, you know, uh, people in Arizona are going to be like, shut up. But uh, you know what? I don't like hot weather. I wouldn't live in Arizona. Uh, what a day. Um, yeah, we'll see where this uh, video goes, if I get any new subscriptions, any likes. If I hear from my friend uh, on on the YouTube, um, he's an incel, uh, uh, Henry Johnson. Uh, you know, decent man. Uh, I haven't watched much of his videos, but uh, or any of them really. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's 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 all right. He's he's an incel, unfortunately. I guarantee you, he doesn't get any action. But that's kind of because he doesn't exercise, I suppose. <laughs> uh, he should really exercise. Uh, if he watches my entire video and comments on it, um, I'm just telling you the truth, Henry. You've got to exercise. Um, it's for your health, man. you really got to do it. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish this video up. And uh, shout out to all my friends. And uh, fuck you to all my enemies. Anyway, have a good one.